OB World Phone, a company founded by the ex CEO of Apple, John Scully has set its sight on the Nepalese market and is looking to win over the hearts and the cash of people of Nepal with its budget offering, the SJ 1.5. Will it be able to? Let's find out in this video. Hey guys, Samrat here for GIS Nepal, and this is my full review of the OB World Phone SJ 1.5. Here we go! <laughs> For the past week or so, I have been using this phone as my daily driver. And the first thing I would like to say is that the phone looks more expensive than its actual price. The phone which is priced around Rs 14,799 here in Nepal is one of the most good looking phones around this price range. The phone is made mainly out of durable polycarbonate plastic with a matte finish. The matte finish does make the phone look more classier but also makes it prone to smudges and fingerprints. The phone nevertheless is super light and feels good in the hands. The phone also packs a 5-inch IPS 720p display with a pixel density of 294 ppi. The display gets pretty bright and has good color reproduction. The viewing angles and the outdoor visibility does seem a little off but the overall display is a joy to watch. The phone also runs very smoothly all thanks to its MediaTek MT6580 processor coupled with the Mali 400 GPU. There are no considerable lag while using the phone. The only time I found any lag was while using the Facebook app on this phone. The 1GB of RAM on board this phone may be the culprit to that. The gaming performance is also fine with frame drops occurring only sometimes. The phone also stays cool most of the time and heats only during heavy gaming near the camera portion. And speaking of camera, the phone comes equipped with a 8MP rear and a 5MP front camera. To be honest, I was not expecting much from the camera of this phone, but the camera performs surprisingly well than my expectations. The photos taken by the phone are clear and has less noise in them. The photos however does lack detail and the phone tends to over sharpen the image. And in dim light situation it would be unwise to expect much from this camera. Here are some of the sample pictures I took with the phone. Overall, the camera performance of this phone is decent considering its price tag. The rear camera does lack details and tends to over sharpen the image as mentioned earlier, while the front camera takes some decent selfies. In the software department, the phone does run Lightspeed UI OB's own custom skin on top of Android 5.1 Lollipop. I'm not really a fan of the custom skin, but for some weird reason, I really like the lock screen offered by the UI. Maybe it's the animation, maybe. Luckily, we can change the look of the custom skin from the settings, or if you are like me, you can install a custom launcher. One of the most important of a smartphone is, well, to make a phone call, and it does that very well. The call quality was good and I didn't face any call drops. The phone also supports dual SIM and a micro SD card expansion on top of 16GB of internal storage. The phone also packs a 3000mAh battery under the hood. That coupled with a 720p screen gives you almost 2 days worth of battery life. So in verdict, the phone looks and feels more expensive than its actual price. That much I can say with confidence from real life experience. None of my friends and when I say none means none of them believed that this phone was a sub 15,000 phone. And this is justifiable as the phone looks amazing. This phone that incorporates a good design, a large battery and ok of a camera, days worth of battery life and a relatively snappy performance is an absolute steal for the price. If you guys are on tight budget then this is most definitely the phone to buy. This is one of the if not the best budget smartphone in the market right now here in Nepal. That's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it. If you did don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions drop them in the comments down below and also don't forget to follow us on various social media platforms. As always guys it's been me Samrat for GIS Nepal and I'll see you guys in the next one.